YouTube, this is Shirley426, and today we have the review of the Premium Bandai Exclusive, or P Bandai Exclusive, Master Grade Deborah's Advanced Jinx. Now this is one, basically one of those uh, specific mobile suits that was used by a specific pilot. So being an Advanced Jinx, this was basically supposed to be in a side story from the Double O series, but uh, I do not really care for the specific pilot backstory, because the main reason I bought this is, number one, I wanted to have a Master Grade Advanced Jinx at the time. But when the the original mass the original premium bond exclusive uh, advanced jinx for the master grade is supposed to be black and white instead of being red and white. But at the time when it was taking pre-orders, I was still a student with no job, so I didn't have the money to pre-order it. So I lost my chance. But later they announced this red version, which was basically a second chance for me, and that was the time where I actually had a part-time job and had some extra money, so I ordered it. Of course. I had this kit for some time, I think it's almost a year, I think, or more than a few months, um, and I'm finally reviewing it, because once again, after having a job and becoming more focused on other kits, um, after I received this kit, a lot of stuff has been happening, but now I think I had finally had the time to review this. Okay, so like, as I mentioned, um, yeah, the main reason I bought this is, number one, I wanted to have the advanced jinx, number two, this is red, so definitely a big bonus for me. So like any premium Bandai kits, there this thing has a lot of leftover parts, so we'll go over that as well. So first of all, uh, we'll go with components. So first of all, what you get, of course, is obviously the, the mobile suit itself. And then here, what you're supposed to have, we'll, we'll go over with the stuff that's taking a lot of space. Number one is a sticker sheet. A very basic sticker sheet that only comes with two. There's two black stickers. This one is actually, this, this long one goes onto the forehead, which I'm not a big fan of. Number two is the eyes, and this the Jinx actually has four eyes, as far as I know. At least this version has four eyes, so yeah, which is why we have this very odd shaped sticker. And number two being a Premium Bandai uh, kit or Master Grade kit, uh, it comes with some water slides. Once again, I'm not a big fan of water slides, so so I really don't care. Okay, so let's talk about some leftover piece I I, I accidentally cut off. So one thing I should mention is that. Um, uh, you need to be. You have to read the manual very carefully because you actually get two C plates, which is the same plates but in different colors. One will be white, one will be red. So if you don't pay attention while building this kit, you might not end up with this color scheme. You might actually end up with having like a white body, uh, red side, uh, still having the same legs as this, but having a full white body, like that. So you have to be aware. So here's the ones I cut off. So most of these that I cut off are like repeats. Uh, but not all of them, but let's let's talk about these white ones. Okay, so the ones that I'm currently taking out from the pile, okay, these are like all repeats from the C plate. So this one, obviously, since we have a leftover red piece, meaning that we'll, we actually use the white one. This actually goes to the back skirt armor. And then here we have all these armor plates. These are like for the shoulder armors, or at least the body armor that has the shoulder joints. This is the back skirt armor. Uh, these two you use together for each side, so that's again, so the fact that we have white leftover means that we're actually using uh, red. This is also another back skirt armor, once again we're using red, uh, same shoulder joint. And then here we have this part that goes on the chest, but the one we're actually using is a red one. And then this is like the, the neck armor area, once again we're using red, so yeah. You kind of get the idea. So if you actually want to have, so I guess this could also mean pretty good, mean good news. So if you're actually planning to color the kit and, and not use the original color scheme, I guess, uh, yeah, that could be really helpful. And these parts, I believe, as far as I know, I don't own the Master Grade Jinx, the original Jinx, so I do not know how much it's possible to make the original one. But as far as I can tell, these looks like the these look like the original head parts for that kit. Um, yeah, and then here we have the clear parts for the head, I believe. So we have that orb thing, and then this piece, which I'm not really sure what that is. And then I believe these are the original side pieces as well, the, for the inner frame. Okay, that's not it. That's actually a, full, a few more plates, so I'll go by one by one. So this one I cut off. This is basically another C plate. Uh, we use the white versions of these parts. I believe these parts are for the weapon, so yeah. Uh, here we have uh, one odd thing about this is that... You don't. You have a opening cockpit, but they don't give you the pilot figurine, which I I don't. I'm not. I personally don't really care for those kind of stuff. But I just found it odd. I have no idea what these are. Once again, not really too sure. But they still give you the original four pilot figurines. So if you want to uh, use one of them, be my guest. Okay, here we have. I believe yeah. This is a C plate as well. Um, 
So here we have some leftover parts. Yeah, here are the head parts that you use for the jinx, advanced jinx. But in this case, we use red ones. This one is the shield part, which actually right over here. So we have, we use red. Uh, once again, this is the back part where that connects the uh, GN drive. So yeah, once again, having leftover white means that we're using red. And here we have some leftover poly caps. Nothing too special. Uh, here we have some leftover parts, which I'm going to assume that this might be. Uh, I'm not really too sure who this this belongs with it, but I do know the Master Grade Jinx actually uses some parts of the Master Grade Exia, so it could be that case, but yeah. Uh, and then here we have these leftover parts, which once again, I'm not really too sure what they are, but they do, they might belong to the Master Grade Exia or something like that. Uh, I cannot read that, so yeah. Alright, so we've seen the leftover parts, and then we should talk about what you're supposed to get. So yeah, here we have the uh, the Jinx Shield. I believe this is the exact same shield as the Jinx Shield, and you still have that moving part. Uh, you, you, we get two Beam Saber Effect parts, but you're only going to be using one Beam Saber Hilt. Because, uh, I, if I remember correctly, the Jinx should be able to store in the Beam Sabers into the into its size, but this one does not. is not able to do that. We get the Jinx uh, rifle. I believe this this should be like the machine gun version or something like that. And then what you can do is we get this uh, front part, which you can attach to this front, uh, and then make the advanced uh, Jinx beam rifle. And I believe this this is uh, only special to the advanced Jinx, and we have one beam saver actually attached here. So if you want to connect the beam saver effect part here, that's what you can do. I'm not sure if you can actually attach the beam saver. Well, it actually, does kind of go in. So if you want to have like a beam fire effect, you can always use that as well. So we can do that, or we can use the, the original, the, the big large one that the, the original Jinx used and attach it here and have the big one. So this is the white part that I meant, so if you do want to have a red version of this, this middle part, I guess you can do that as well. And then here we go, we have this part which you can store in the GN drive. I think, I believe every pretty much YouTuber who has mentioned about the Master Grade Jinx should have shown this, so I'm not going to be demonstrating that. And then here we have its special unique weapon to the advanced Jinx. This is the prototype version of the uh, the the lance that the, we later see for the Jinx three, I believe, the red ones. Uh, so th I believe these these aren't exactly the same thing. And this is n this weapon is really not that easy to use. I'll show you guys later why. So I'm not sure I'll be able to demonstrate all the weapons here properly. So if I can't, I'm sorry. Or at least for the lance, the 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 rifles they work perfectly fine. Okay, now let's get on to the review. So first of all, I know what you're thinking. Is this kid wobbly or unstable or whatever? I'm gonna say no. I am aware that the original Master Grade Jinx used original part, uh, used the same parts or some of the inner frame parts of the Master Grade Exia. But when the Master Grade Exia first came out, it was very unstable. A lot of parts were loose. A lot of parts were falling apart. It was not a great kit, as far as I know. But later. Later, they actually fixed that issue, which I assume should be also transferred to the Master Grade Jinx as well. So I don't want to hear any comments saying that, well, my Master Grade XC was fine. I never had those issues. That could be the fact that you bought yours after they fixed the issue. So yeah, I actually own one of the early batches of the Master Grade Exia, and it is unstable as crap. So yeah. Some of you guys may have seen my very, very, very old video review of the Master Grade Exia. That was before I actually started... To be serious about being a complete YouTuber, but yeah. Okay, so let's get on to reviews. So, yeah. So, for this one, there's no... Well, I can't say there's any loose parts, but of course there are some parts that do fall off a little bit easily, but that's just due to the structure. This kit is overall stiff. The front, the top section is fine, but the leg section, they are stiff as crap, to the point where I actually have to put them strength in it to bend the legs. I mean, that's a good thing, when you think about it, for the long run. Okay, so let's look at the head. The head, once again, the head is the only part that has the sticker. So you can see the eyes are obviously stickers, and then that forehead, the black sticker on the forehead, is a sticker. I'm not a big fan of how that looks, but oh well, that's just the way how it is. So the, so the head has an interesting neck joint. So you, have a, you actually have a separate neck joint that you connect to the main body, uh, and the shape is pretty odd. But make, thanks to that, we, have, we can go down a lot up a lot and then 360 twist I'm not gonna say that's possible because the way how the structure it is it's not exactly just a, a straight line it's like a like a long L shape so which is why it looks like it's doing the, the turtle neck thing yeah uh, okay so we've seen that 
So let's get the main body articulation. So one thing that you should be aware of buying a Jinx or this kit is that it's really hard to hold on to the kit because there's a lot of stuff going on. So if you look at the body, we have these sections that move around. I'm not even sure what these are supposed to be in the first place. But yeah, we have this section where it can move up and down like that. And then this is the only connection point, which I believe should be a ball joint if I remember correctly. Uh, or something like that. Yeah, there's that. that's a ball swing connection. And this white section does not actually connect. There's no peg that actually connects here. So it's always going to be moving around like that. Um, so, so for the body articulation, it's pretty good. It can go up that much. I think it can go more, but yeah. And then down that much. Down not so much, but up a lot. And then 360 twist should be possible if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, because the waist is a perfect circle and nothing is really blocking the way because there's no when you think about I mean sure there's back skirts but it's actually on the lower end and then there's no side skirt front skirts uh, well front skirt I guess if you consider this to be a front skirt but that's more of a different thing so yeah we have a 360 twist on there and once again after moving 360 it's all it's already all over the place the shoulder uh, the shoulder uh, articulation is pretty good the main connection between the main body and the arm uh, arm or shoulder is actually a plastic ball joint so it works pretty well so you can see it has a pretty good movement of course technically you can see this part wobbling around so inside there's actually another moving point but that part is very stiff so I don't really recommend you actually try to entirely move entirely the not only the shoulder but the main body itself is as well because I don't think that's supposed to move that much I mean there is a little bit gap there which I would assume you can move but uh, I don't recommend it because that's one part that's easy to break if you ask me if you're not careful. It's not because it's fragile, it's just so stiff that if you apply, you need to apply some force to move it, but if you're not careful, you might break that aspect. Okay, and then here we have a, oh, come on, we have the arm that moves 360 here. Of course, this part is blocking, so if you do this, you can do that. And this part, I'm, re I'm not really too sure what these are, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure. I'm going to assume these are also one of those shield type things that we actually saw in the older mobile suits of uh, in double O. Um, and then we have a nice double jointed bend going on and then we have a typical master grade ball jointed hand but the fingers on this kit is very odd. I know I have been aware that the Jinx fingers are very odd shaped like we have these claws which you would think are the fingers but no there's actually another finger lower them. Um, yeah so th this makes using that lance very tricky as well the guns I mean you can pretty much work it out but yeah these so if you actually have some leftover like normal fingers like I suggest you just use that and then we have these holes that are actually actually meant for the gun yeah the Jinx rifle and yeah, I believe there's no other purpose and then we have these holes on the sidearm which are actually meant to hold the shield uh, like that and it works pretty well of course in the manual they tell you to fold the arm and then fold this part so it doesn't collide each other so yeah Okay, now let's look at the cockpit. Now, most mobile suits would have a cockpit in their main body. In this case, it's right over here. This thing, this capsule-looking thing here. You lower it, and then you're supposed to open the this section, and it reveals the seat. As I mentioned, they do not give you a specific pilot figurine, which I really don't care for that aspect. So, not a big deal. And we do get the original pilots for the for the normal Jinx. So, if you want to use those, be my guest. And if you're wondering, yes, these parts are on the side are uh, also ball jointed, and yeah, these are the most parts. These are the parts that will fall off a little bit easily than you think. But yeah, it's just, so this may be a big problem to some people, but it's not as bad as you think. And then yeah, uh, there's this part that also moves up and down a little bit. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm moving the legs. It's going to pop out. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the case. So. Unlike the normal Jinx, we have more thrusters going on here on the back as well. And then on the back, sir, we have these parts. I believe this is supposed to open to reveal another booster. And we have these back skirts that are connected to ball joints to the middle part. And then these parts should move a little bit to the side as well, like wing flaps. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that section. And then the, the main legs, the way how they're connected is a typical mastery connection where you have a big giant peg that goes inside to the middle. Uh, it's pretty stable and a pretty sturdy connection if you ask me, so there's no issue of that popping out on its own, uh, unless I did something wrong. And then we have a nice size wobble going on, but once again, kind of on the stiff side, so don't do it too often. Uh, the legs, uh, yeah, they're not going up that much because of how the structure is. So articulation-wise, this might be lacking. Of course, if you take the cockpit off entirely, that would be a different story, but still, that's the way how it is. And I don't really remember these guys walking around. So yeah, most of the time we see them floating around. 
Uh, back not so much because once again the back skirt armor. Um, and then on the the these parts on the legs they can move up and down for some reason as well. And then the bend, these is very stiff. Like I'm giving some strength in here in here and boy that's very strong. I can't say it, I mean okay there goes one. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's supposed to have a good bend, but because of this part, it may look like it's lacking. But yeah, it does move along, and there goes the other section right over here, uh, which actually does help me out. And then we have this part that's supposed, that looks like it moves a lot, but yeah, it can do this, but there's no really purpose on that as well. And then we have some nice ball jointed feet, and then we have a nice toe bend, and then we have this section that actually helps out, and extra thrusters going on here. So yeah. Uh, we've seen the basic articulation. I'm going to be right back to find out the pieces where it fell down and then show you guys the first set of equipment. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we have the first set of equipment, which is basically the unique weapon of, it, of this kit is the lance. As I mentioned, this, the, holding this weapon is not easy. I mean, uh, I, I try to follow the manual, but it just doesn't really work. And I'm not even, I, so in the intro, I was barely able to take a picture with this weapon. So. So I'm barely, I'm basically almost barely holding the weapon because number one, um, if you look at the weapon, there's only one holding point. So this part is actually has a hole and peg system, and this one actually works very well on this hand. But the problem is, is that this is not a weapon that's supposed to be held, but with one hand. The other hand has to be holding this section. But problem is number one, there is no hole and peg system here. Number two, with those weird fingers, it's really hard to balance. That aspect it doesn't th because of these fingers they don't have a perfect or not perfect but they cannot have a firm grip of anything so okay so I'm gonna attach the hole and pick system onto the hand uh, and it's supposed to work pretty well on its own it can barely hold it it's holding it actually when you look at it it's holding it but if you're going to try to properly get this hand into that other handle that's where a lot of problems come come by so so like you're supposed to be holding something like this, but once again, those fingers are getting those nails or like claws are getting in the way. So what your best situation is just to not use the hold and peg system and just barely get it on there like that, and then make it look like it's holding it, and that's it. I know the Jinx Three actually has like a gun mode, like it's the lance, but they actually hold it like a gun, so it's much more manageable. Granted, this is a prototype version of that weapon, so yeah. So, kind of a really tricky weapon to use on this stick. And I think I forgot to mention regarding the legs is that... Uh, I'm going to pop this up. Now, you are able... It, this thing is supposed to go... Able to go to the side, but not exactly 90 degrees. As you can see. Alright. So, that we got rid of the hard part. So, I'll be right back with the other weapons. Okay, here we have the second set of equipment. And in this part, I'm pretty much going to show you guys all the rifles because... Uh, despite them being different weapons, they still have the same base, which they use this gun. So first of all, I just gave it the shield, and as mentioned, you can t you can twist this part up to make it activate. So the way how I, I understood this shield is that it just works as like like a physical shield, but also if, if you do this in some games, they actually like uh, activate some sort of like a GN barrier or something like that. So yeah, and the way how they connect is that you can see this gap here. So they actually give you a separate peg piece right over here, so you can attach that thing as well. Okay, and I really like how this gun works. So despite having those weird claw hands, it doesn't really matter. And this thing doesn't even need that hole and peg system. Now, the way the handle looks like it may, it does look like it uses the hole and peg system. But the way how this works is that you have this plug here, and then it plugs onto the arm right over here. So all you just need to do is just pretty much plug it in, and you're good to go. It's a very firm connection. I remember the Masquerade Exia having the same kind of slot there but it barely worked the pieces would just slide in and just pop out easy it doesn't it, so basically what I mean is that this one actually holds the piece in unlike the old master grade XT, it didn't do that so it, this thing has a very firm grip so and I really like the weapon design and I believe there's a clear uh, a clear clear purple piece inside there and then there's supposed to be one beneath that which I really don't understand why that would be the case and that thing popped out again so yeah these are the parts that will pop out the most easy like these will pop out a little bit easier than you think but yeah but as long as you get them in the right position they shouldn't be doing that for some reason that mine is doing that okay so first of all we have the advanced jinx rifle all you need to do is just pretty much hold just plug this in and you're good to go 
And as I mentioned, the one beam saber is here, so you can put, attach the beam saber uh, part, um, effect part there. And we, since we have this handle, of course, uh, there's no way these claw hands are actually going to physically hold the second handle on the side, but you can make it look like it's holding onto the second handle like that. So yeah, you just need to wiggle it around and you're good to go. And the good part is that since the second handle is actually on the on the base of the rifle, what you can do is that you can just pop the front section out and then just attach the large, even longer version here and you don't need to change anything, even the position, and you can still have it look like holding the second handle, of course. You just need to wiggle it around. Of course, this thing makes it a little bit heavier, so just be careful to be, you know, holding it properly. And there we go. This was a pretty good... I mean, other than the lance, I had no issues with the weapon, so I actually really enjoyed this kit. Um, I might try to find and hunt down the Jinx 3, which because that thing does not have all these annoying parts here, so I might give that a try in the future. Uh, for those who are wondering, yes, you um, you can do this. You can pull this section down and then pull out the the, the GN drive as well. And this is where you put the uh, LD inside here. Of course, when you're pulling it out, just make, make sure you pull out this section right over here because mine tends to not come out entirely. Um, but yeah, you get the idea of how this thing should be working. Come on. There we go, and we have the full GN drive. I believe they did sell like a, a separate purple one, but that's a very rare one. The only one we can get easily is the red and green one. And without the GN drive, I mean, there's no big difference because we still have a clear uh, purple piece on, in the inside, so it doesn't really uh, matter in the front. So yeah, and all you need to do is just pretty much, uh, of course, before putting it back in, you need to pull this section out and then slide it back in, and there you go. And that was pretty much it for the Premium Monday exclusive uh, Deborah's Masquerade, uh, Masquerade Deborah's Advanced Jinx. Definitely recommendable. Uh, or if you have a normal Jinx and if you buy this or the or the original the original Jinx and then you have the black and white or this version, you can make your own like combination of a Jinx. So there's a lot of good stuff to try out and yeah, it's a pretty stable kit if you ask me, especially the legs. So that was, that was pretty much it for the review. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.